Have you ever had a dream about a particular body of water like a river or a pond? Different types of water bodies can mean different things. So let's talk about the meaning of bodies of water in dreams. Water in a dream can represent the Word of God or the Holy Spirit, but you may have had a dream involving a certain body of water, such as a lake or an ocean. And depending on what's going on in the dream, a body of water can have a significant meaning. Now, I have other videos on what water can mean in a dream, so I'll attach them to this one. But in this video, I'm going to talk about what five bodies of water can mean in your dreams. Now, I'm also going to give you two bonus types of water systems as well. So watch until the end. Number one, a river. In the Bible, rivers are symbolic of life and the life-giving presence of the Holy Spirit. Ezekiel 47, 9 says, and wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live and there will be very many fish. John 7, 38 gives a river analogy as well pertaining to believers when Jesus says, whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. And then there's a river that's mentioned in the book of Revelation pertaining to heaven when John said, and he showed me a river of the water of life, clear as crystal coming from the throne of God and of the lamb in the middle of its street. A river in a dream can also be symbolic of abundance and spiritual nourishment, as this is what the river in Genesis 2 that flowed out of the Garden of Eden represents. A river with rushing waters can represent a powerful move of the Holy Spirit and the glory of God. Ezekiel 43, 2 said, And behold, the glory of the God of Israel came from the way of the east, his voice was like the sound of many waters and the earth shone with his glory. So depending on what's happening with the river in your dream, a river in a dream would have a positive meaning. Number two, a lake. Since a lake has still waters as opposed to the flowing waters of a river, it tends to represent a place of peace, rest, and relaxation. In fact, this is the body of water mentioned in Psalm 23, 2, where it says, He leads me beside still waters. A lake can also represent a group or a community of people, such as a nation or a church. Jesus often taught parables and healed people at the Sea of Galilee, which actually is a lake and not a sea. Also, if you are fishing in your dream at the lake, this could represent evangelism. In Luke 5, Jesus told Peter to cast his fishing net into the lake. And when Peter did it, although he was reluctant at first, the Bible said he caught so many fish that his net broke. This was symbolic of what was to come when Jesus told them that he would make them fishers of men. Now, negatively speaking, a lake can represent a place of chaos or torment as in the lake of fire. So depending on what's happening in the dream, a lake can have a negative meaning, but it can also represent a season of peace and rest, a certain group of people or evangelism. Number three, a sea or an ocean. So a sea is a smaller version of an ocean and oceans are deeper than the seas. Now, both the ocean and the sea can represent life. Psalm 104, 25 says, there is the sea vast and spacious teeming with creatures beyond number, living things, both large and small. They can also represent spreading the gospel as in Isaiah 11, 9, which says, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The sea may also be symbolic of abundance and humanity. This is mentioned in Isaiah 60, which says, and your heart will thrill and rejoice because the abundance of the sea will be turned to you. The wealth of the nations will come to you. 
Negatively speaking, the ocean or the sea can represent a place of torment and punishment as when Pharaoh's army drowned in the Red Sea. It can also be speaking of a demonic habitation as Daniel saw in a vision. And four great beasts came up out of the sea, different from one another. And I did a video on marine spirits and the marine kingdom, and I'll attach it with this video. Number four, a pond. A pond is a contained body of water smaller than a lake. So depending on what's happening with or around the pond in the dream, a pond can represent an individual ministry or calling. For instance, if you're looking at fish in a pond, this could be speaking of a certain group that you've been called to. Likewise, fishing in a pond could represent evangelizing a particular group of people. Looking into a pond and seeing your image can be showing a need for self-reflection. Perhaps God wants you to zero in on a certain flaw or negative issue that needs addressing. Number five, a stream. So a stream is a water course where the water flows into a channel. So dreaming about a stream would represent the peace of God, serenity, and the flow of the spirit of God. It could be speaking of a particular course or direction that the Holy Spirit is leading the dreamer in. A stream can also represent prophetic ministry. So again, the meaning of the stream depends on what's taking place with the stream in the dream. Now, two other types of water groups I want to talk about are fountains and wells. Have you ever had a dream with a fountain or a well in it? Now, a fountain, which is also called a wellspring in the Bible, is when the water comes from above ground sources like lakes and rivers. And a well, on the other hand, holds water that comes from an underground source like a cistern. So let's look at a fountain first. You can have a dream that you're drinking water from a fountain or even bathing in a fountain. So a fountain in a dream can represent a source of life. In fact, this is how God refers to himself in Jeremiah 2.13, which says, My people have committed two evils. They have abandoned me, the fountain of living waters. So a fountain in a dream can be symbolic of receiving salvation or new life in Christ. It can also be speaking of spiritual thirst for the things of God. A fountain can also represent a spring of wisdom and knowledge, and God could be showing the dreamer's need for wisdom and understanding in a certain area of their life. Now, although the water from a spring is easily accessible, the water in a well is not. Well water has to be retrieved and then received. So a well can represent the deep things of God. God may be calling the dreamer to draw closer to him and go deeper in the things of God. A well can also be symbolic of God being a continual source of supply. And also a well can represent the heart. Proverbs 25 says, a plan in the heart of a man is like water in a deep well, but a man of understanding draws it out. A well in a dream can also represent prosperity or blessings. So always pay attention to the context of the dream, and this will tell you how to apply the meaning of the fountain or the well in your dream. Hey, have you picked up your copy of The Mysterious Language of Dreams yet? In this book, I go more in depth about dreams and dream interpretation than I do on my YouTube videos. I talk about the depth dimension of dreams, dream layers. I talk about the time dimension of a dream. Also, dreams and the imagination, which is quite interesting. I also have put over 40 real life, actual dreams that people have dreamt in the book for you to practice your interpretation skills. Also in the back of the book is a dream dictionary with over 400 dream symbols. So I've left a link in the description box below where you can go and pick up your copy of the mysterious language of dreams today. 
What bodies of water have appeared in your dream? You know, I want to hear about it. Leave it in the comments section. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, please share and subscribe. I'll talk to you all next time.